بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين الحمد لله Our religion is the best religion that doesn't differentiate between men and women Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to uh, give advice to the men and used to make a special timing for our women, our sisters, our mothers. And today is a special day for our mothers and sisters and our daughters. Let us take a quick message to our daughters, our, pa our parents, our sisters, our mothers. Today, you are in the best day of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you to be in this moment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given you barka in your umr, in your life, and gave you a health. And alhamdulillah, you are in Ramadan. What have you done so far in Ramadan? How are you in these days of Ramadan? How are, how are you in your house? Is the prepara preparation according to the religion? To what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked you to do? How about your children? How about the environment inside your house? How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Quran is recited. Uh, salah is, is done, alhamdulillah, inside your house. And you are a good guidance to your children, to your daughters. Daughters are advised to take hijab, alhamdulillah. Daughters are fasting these days of Ramadan. And you are not making yourself so busy, tea, just cooking and cleaning and all. You can do all those things in the other months. But the month of Ramadan, try to benefit of the timing. And every single minute, try to occupy it with the mentioning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reciting Quran, doing a good deeds, giving charities, looking after your children, looking after your husband, preparing your stuff for your children, your husband, and pushing them towards the ibadah. And that is the best thing that you can do. Wallahi al -azim. you will not regret, dear sister, dear mother, you would never regret if you, if you are spending your timing for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every single thing that you are going to do, good deeds that you are going to do, is going to be doubled. Two times, three times, ten times, seven hundred times. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yudha'ifuhu adha'afan mudha'afa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you rewardless, uh, yani, uh, a lot of reward when you are doing good deeds in Ramadan. So what is your plan in Ramadan? How about your recitation? How many Jews are you reading in the, in the days of Ramadan? What about Salat al-Taraweeh? What about Salat al-Tahajjud? What about uh, raising your hand? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, raise your hand to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have any problems in your house, in your family, with your children, raise your hand to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ukhti, and say, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, I'm asking you in this timing, in these special days, to guide my children. Ya Allah, make my children the best children ever. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready to answer your, your questions. Naam, ukhti al-fadila. Naam, do not prepare too much food. The days, of, the, uh, the days of Ramadan is the days of feeling hungry. I want you to feel hungry so you can think about those who are feeling hungry the whole year. If you are feeling hungry for the days of Ramadan, rem that reminds you about those people, poor people who are not having anything, they are, they are feeling that hungry day and night so that you are, you, your hand can pay for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If people are asking for charity and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you an ability to do so, do so. Take a good example from the wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Sayyidatna Aisha, the way she used to give. And the other wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, they are all used to give for the sake of Allah. 
if you remember the seerah of Sayyidatna Khadija radiallahu anha and how she helped the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with her health and wealth. Remember the seerah of Sayyidatna Hafsa, the way she was helping the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Remember the seerah of Sayyidatna Safiya. Remember uh, the seerah of the, the, the daughter of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidatna Fatima the way you, they used to pay for the sake of Allah. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you a, an opportunity, you have something extra inside your house, please do not forget your neighbors. Even if while you are doing the futur for your children and your family, try to do a little bit extra for the poor person, your neighbor. Think about your neighbor, the second neighbor, the third neighbor. Allah knows that will my put you with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in the day of judgment. It'aamu al-akbaad al-ja'i'ah It'aamu al-akbaad al-ja'i'ah khayrun inda Allahi min bina'i al-masajid If you are feeding a poor people, people who doesn't have food, that is even better than building the mosque itself. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Fattaqu al-nar, ittaqu al-nara walau bishiqq tamra a Prophet وسلم, is telling me and is telling you that we should stay far away from the hell fire and we should fear the hell fire even with the a debt, a half date. If you can give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if Allah accepted that sadaqah, Allah will give you paradise in the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us to come closer to him, especially on these days of Ramadan. Try to educate yourself, my sister, my mom. Try to educate, especially those masail that is related to you about ahkam al siyam, ahkam al hayd wa nifas, mufsidat al siyam, all these things. Try to educate yourself. Do not let yourself down. Do not just Stay in one place without educating yourself. Every single day passing, you should encourage yourself and get more knowledge about your religion that will help you to help your children tomorrow. Asalullah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yahabalana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrata a'yun wa an yaj'alana lil muttaqina imama wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Oh, no, no.